Hi everybody, today I want to show you guys my face routine. This is my face routine when I want to wear a little bit extra makeup. So today I am wearing a purple smoky eye, so then I usually have something a little bit more fuller coverage. Now I do have a routine where I show you guys how to use BB cream and that's my day routine. So you can check the link up here if you want to have a look at that video. Otherwise, you can just keep watching to see my fuller coverage foundation routine. So I'm going to start by taking some primer. I'm using the Almay pore minimizing primer and this is amazing because it works for oily skin but it also works on more mature skin so say if you have deep wrinkles or deep lines on your face if you apply this it kind of gives an airbrushed look to the face make sure that your foundation sits so smooth it's a little bit on the dry side so make sure you have moisturized underneath make sure you always wash your hands before you apply anything onto your face. My little trick to get kind of an airbrush finish is to use a sponge. Sponges are amazing but you have to use them wet because otherwise they'll absorb too much product. This is tiny as you can see it's just like the size of an egg but I'm gonna go and wet it and it's gonna expand. Now you can see the difference it's much bigger it's much fuller this way so it's gonna be nice and spongy. Now it's not soaking wet so if I give it a squeeze it's not gonna be like dripping wet or anything but it's damp you know so this will really work to make sure that we get a the nice I'm using is the true match by L'Oreal this is great it's one of the best foundations I would highly recommend it it comes in a variety of different shade options and different colors give it a good shake because it does say to shake it up in the back and then that's because it's so liquidy and there's a lot of pigment pigmentation that's in there so you've really got to shake it up to get it going. The shade that I have is um, C1. Now I'm actually probably N1. They didn't have it so I got C1 which I'm kind of annoyed at because it's quite pink. A few plumps in the back of my hand. This is really nice coverage. Not a matte finish but like a satin finish so it's somewhere in between. Just going to take a little bit on my sponge and dab it over my face. It does have SPF I think 17 so it's a little bit strong in the old SPF especially for like photographs and stuff but if you apply like a press powder over the top, like a matte press powder over the top, you might be able to bring down that kind of reflection that you could it's get. The great thing it has this little tip, so you can get just underneath there, and you can get right to the inner kind of corners of the nose. And I'm just going to keep dabbing over the face with this until I get a nice finish. Don't worry too much about blemishes at the moment. Concentrate on evening out the skin tone. You can just blend it into the hairline, blend it down the neck, making sure it's nice and evenly blended. Little trick that you can do with this, you can use it sort of like a concealer. So say if you have a blemish that's, you know, not too kind of pigmented or anything like that, you just want to have a little bit of coverage on that area. Just take a little bit on the back of your hand and just dab it over the area where you have a little bit of a pigmentation problem. As you can see, I have quite a lot on there. So I'm just going to leave it until it starts to go a little bit set and then I'm going to blend it in and that way you get a lot of pigment in one area but it's still going to be the same color as the rest of your face. I'm just going to blend it and I have a huge amount of pigment in that area so I'm just going to blend it on the outer part blending it back into the skin. So just leave the pigment on the actual blemish and just blend around it. It's that easy to kind of cover that blemish without you know, having to put a lot of concealer over the top. Now if you have really heavy duty covering up to do, I would suggest using this, which is the uh, Maybelline Superstay 24 hour um, concealer. The only other option that you can have instead of this one is the Collection 2001, which is fantastic. It's a lasting finish and that is amazing as well. It really, really covers. This is a little bit more matte than the other one. It's not great for around the eyes, but it does really cover up. So now that my face is kind of evened out and my blemishes are covered, I'm just going to do a little bit under the eye. I'm going to take my Lacora Beauty Pen, this like really cheap pen that you can get, which is like highlighting. And I'm just going to apply a very small amount underneath the eyes. If you look up, you'll get kind of a flat surface underneath the eyes and it will help you kind of blend it a little bit better. To set everything, I'm going to take my number 17 Shine Control Press Powder. This was suggested by somebody and I think it's amazing. This is neutral and it's a beautiful light colour. I'm going to take a nice big brush and then I'm just going to dab this over the face. If you've done quite a lot of concealing, try using a powder puff just to blend it over the face so that you don't disturb the concealing that you've done. All you have to do now is take your brush 
and work in downward strokes over the face and this will just make sure that all the little tiny hairs on the face lie flat. If you really want some staying power but you don't like using powders on your face, you might have dry skin to begin with, but this also works on oily skin, is to use a setting spray instead of a powder or on top of the powder. Now you can spray this on the face or take a stippling brush spray it on the top of the stippling brush and you can just dab it over the face and this just makes all the hairs lie flat it's going to make sure the foundation the concealer you can do this over the top of your blush and your bronzer as well it's just going to make sure they last a really long time so just dab it over the top make sure it's not too wet because then you could end up disturbing the foundation and concealer that you've applied. If you've applied a lot of um, powders over the face and you find that it just makes your face look kind of like hairy then this really helps to kind of make all the hairs lie flat. And then all you have to do is to add your blush, your bronzer, your highlighter, whatever it may be for you, but this is just my foundation routine. So I've just added the rest of my makeup. I've done this kind of purpley, smoky eye kind of thing going on. And I have then chosen the lipstick to go with the eye makeup and the blush to go with the lipstick. So I usually will contour and highlight and have the same foundation routine as usual. And then I will kind of team my um, eye makeup with my lipstick and then my lipstick with my blush. So I never usually apply my blush until the very end so that I know what it's kind of working with. If you want to see my other video where I show my kind of day routine using my BB cream, you can check the link up here which will take you to that video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.